Right now at 6, the New Haven Police Department just got the green light to add to its toolbox to track gunshots locally. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is showing us what's changing. New Haven installed the shot spotter system, which immediately alerts police to gunfire back in 2009. It expanded since then and is now getting ready to do it again. They're able to respond even before dispatch dispatches them to a shots fired call. And thanks to New Haven's Board of Alders who signed off on the deal Tuesday night. Soon more than a third of the Elm City will be covered by the technology, which lets police know when shots are fired. Expanding coverage from New Haven's current five and a half square mile footprint by adding West Rock, West Hills, the eastern half of Fairhaven, along with Fairhaven Heights and Quinnipiac Meadows. To be able to expand it in four different areas and be able to look at the data as to where we're seeing more shots fired and it's not covered and be able to provide that service to the community and have a quicker response is just exciting. Here's how it works. Audio sensors located around the city pick up the sound of a gunshot. It's first sent to an incident review center where experts and computers analyze the sound and then back out to dispatch, not having to wait for a 911 call to alert them. Many times it's like, oh, someone else will call it in, right? Or was that actually a gunshot? Maybe it wasn't a smaller caliber. Maybe it's 4th of July and, you know, and you're hearing fireworks, but it actually was, um, you know, a gunshot. So it just helps in many ways. And that's important because since the start of the pandemic, cities across the country have seen an increase in gun violence. And New Haven is no different. While there have been no homicides so far this year, last year the Elm City had 25 deadly shootings. That followed 20 homicides in 2020. It makes the, the response to the area so much faster, which means the investigation to start faster. Maybe there's somebody fleeing. Maybe somebody's able to flag you down. So it just allows us to be better at our investigation and also better for the, um, for the community. New Haven will use $1.2 million in American Rescue Plan funding to nearly cover the four-year $1.6 million contract. And the expansion is expected to roll out in eight to ten weeks. Reporting in New Haven, Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.